I found the actual song. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? Welcome very much to uh, Animal Crossing. A nice, wholesome game. Uh, got to unbutton here. There we go. Uh, let's play some games. I gotta get rid of Discord. Oh, we got mail. We oh, it's 5 p.m. Oh. What a good song, man. What's up, Bagbot? Eggs. I like scrambled eggs. In the world of uh, Animal Crossing, I don't really like the eggs. Although I've crafted all the egg stuff now um, that I need. Oh yeah, welcome to my house. I've done some redecorating. Here's my living room rec room uh, combo. As you can see here, we have the, the music area. We have the metronome. Over here, we have our kitchen, which really sucks, by the way. The kitchen's really not looking good. The kitchen, like, it's in progress. Because you see, I have all these beautiful appliances and objects, like this coffee grinder and all my tea stuff, but I have no countertops. Because there's no like two by one like objects in this game, it feels like. Gotta open up my my studio door. Over here is the uh, turnip room. It's supposed to be like an office area, um, but as you can see, it has turned into the turnip room. This is all the turnips I could buy today. Some people I, I know they got like turnips for thousands of years, but. I, I, I did not have any money. I had no bells. I had no bells today. Bellus. Bellus in the Belfry. That's a, my, my favorite uh, series of unfortunate events. Book. Rain Ryoken. Thank you for the resub and also starting the, the, the hype train, in fact. So if anybody wants to get some free emotes well they're not free but if you want to get some emotes from twitch you can uh go ahead and use subs bits or gift subs and you can get in on the hype train we're already at level we're, we're only done with level one so you'll get some level one emotes if you participate but if more people participate we can get the next level and get better emotes etc bop 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 Thank you, peoples. Yeah, no, this is my um my my bedroom. I, I use the cloud flooring here, so uh, I I could put it in the pool, and it kind of looks like like it's you know it's a really steamy room almost. Is what I was kind of going for. I'm not sure if I like the, the 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 wallpaper, but it's what I had. And I also wish this wasn't blue. I know that MC loves blue, but uh, this is not my favorite uh, bed. I could go for a different color bed. Um, anyways, let's get dressed for the day. Well, welcome to my favorite part of my Animal Crossing day, which is getting naked and then putting on new clothes. I mean, hey, you know, I got the, the suit jacket on today. But I think I, I, think I want to wear black today. I wore blue yesterday. Ooh, tuxedo jacket. I have my, um, I have dress pants, don't I? Those are sweatpants. I mean, the casual pants, no, they don't quite work. The color's a little off. These are the dress pants. Unfortunately, I don't have, like, a blue jacket, so it doesn't, like, it kind of would go like this. Hmm. I had a choice between playing alone or, or turnips. Use all the loan money on turnips. Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, hold 
on. We, we have this emblem blazer. This could probably go with the dress pants. Oh, look at this. Fancy boy. Let's be fancy boy since we're on stream today, you know? Uh, oh, here we go. Look at this. Fancy. Hold on. Now we're just dumb. There we go. Do I, do I have some nice... No, I don't want everyday socks. Let's, let's just use our... Ooh, yes. That's that's exactly what I would wear. I don't have any blue dress shoes at all. I don't have like any dress shoes. These kind of work, but I'd rather go with like a, a a blue. Like this kind of works, even though they are, you know, uh, sneakers. The boots ain't bad, honestly. Boots ain't bad. I think I'll take these and I'll wear kind of like the round glasses today. It is Harry Potter night. Today I'm watching Harry Potter with friends. By the way, I got a minute 40 left on the hype train if we want to reach the next level. Looks like we're going to end off on a nice, easy level one train. Looks like Peoples and uh, Rain Ryoka and Dark Decay are getting the, the only, only goodies today. Could wear these again. Business bunny. I like this. I like this. Here we go. Time to go out on the town today. I want to go outside because there's the good music out there. Hold on, I got to take a big sip. Dude, every time this song starts playing, I start bopping. Ninja Frog gifting out two gift subs. Thank you, Ninja Frog. 40 seconds left on the train. Not quite there yet, though. Uh, we do have to knock all our rocks, which is what I usually like to start my day with. I have two shovels? Okay. Got to put KK Malonia in there. Malagna. Yeah, so we're going to start off the day by doing some chores, and then we'll go shopping. Chores first, though. You got to do chores before shopping. One, because I have no money. Dude, this song is banging. I always do that. Did I just get a... There you go. Thanks everybody who could participate in the, the very small hype train, start the stream. You get all you get some level one emotes. Actually, what is the level one there? Hype chest. That's actually pretty sick, honestly. For a level one, I'll take that. What was my reward for that? Oh, it's just whacking rocks. Wild burns. So sadly, I've bought four copies of this game now, but I haven't played it all. You bought four copies of Animal Crossing? How, why? Like, is there a reason? Like, are are you going to, how? how? Man, she's just sitting there. I gave her that that uh, that skirt yesterday, that dress. And she's still wearing it. We get a badge too. Oh yeah, Peoples and, and Ninja Frog. Y'all got the uh, hype conductor. Which I think takes it away from, um, Dark Esley, who had Aliyah yesterday. Or last time. One for my wife, one for my 18-year-old, one for my 15-year-old, one for my 5-year-old, after he stole his the wife's copy. What about for you? Sounds like you need to get a fifth, Wildburn. And also, honestly, I'm, I'm very proud of your 5-year-old for stealing, uh, the copy from your wife because that shows that this kid really wants to play video game for bringing him up right like notice man I love you all I'll talk to you later I'll let you guys sing 
Oh, hold on. Claude's got words. What's up, Claude? Oh, I'm so sorry, Claude! Guess what? I've got something special for you today. It's a present. Here, take it. Ooh. What do you got for me? A striped shirt! I saw it and thought of you. I do like stripes, so... Uh, th thank you. Oh, you're just gonna sweep the grass now? Okay. Here. Congratulations. You have won. No, oh, that's mine. <laughs> You know, just take some money. You know, you know, I'm a businessman today. You know, you can see I'm wearing my jacket. Did you mean to give me money? It's really great, but I can't take your money. No, you take my money. All right, have some eggs. I don't want these. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy. I'm gonna eat that. Cool. See, the problem is, there's a regular switch in the living room. The five-year-old stole the regular switch. It was in the teen's media room, so I bought a switch light for me, the wife, and the 18-year-old five-year-old. So I actually own six switches. Ah, dang. That's a, a lot of switch. Oh, Jamie, thank you for the raid. I was actually, uh, I saw you were doing some Ocarina of Time shenanigans today. I was going to do Ocarina of Time randomizer, but I forgot I have a thing at 9.30. So I wasn't going to have to have the chance to do anything. Thank you, Jamie. It is a nice shirt, isn't it? Hey, Betsy. Thank you for the resub as well. I don't know if I have that, that big boy there. Hold on. Who are you? Cool. Hey, see, you guys like my shirt? I love eating junk food. And playing classic games. Do you? And all these other nice things. It's a good, uh, good, good shirt. Whoa, a present. Oh, wait, I don't care. Oh, hey. There's my fossil. Still don't care. Message me when it's an actual non-Easter balloon. Just got Animal Crossing now to find friends. You can always go on Twitter. Twitter's full of people who want to play Animal Crossing with each other. Yeah, the other night I did um, get KK Slider to come to my town. So now uh, I have the ability to terraform. We'll probably do a little bit of that. Like I said, oh, and by the way, here's some of my, my Easter items. I'm sorry, funny day. It figures that an egg would spawn here. We gotta do our chores first before we go to the store. Chores first, then store. I'm just glad this song is playing right now. This song's a banger. I don't want 20 minutes to pass right now. I just want it to last forever. That's a big fish. Do I not have a pole? I do. How are you, Ganon? This looks like a koi, perhaps. Oh man, he he did a, a dodge. Doing all right? I'm glad. Oi! You went to the grocery store today. How'd that go? What's the situation out where you're at? I just got black bass. Oh, I'm so sorry, carp. Not as chaotic as I feared. Yeah, I imagine it's not chaotic. It's just everybody who would be there is probably like big looking at everybody else. No! What's up, Aikawa? How are you? How's your town looking, Aikawa? 
I've been inspired by yours, so I've been planning out some stuff. I haven't done any big, big stuff yet in my town, but I got some plans now. Including I am starting the, the, the uh, brigade of flowers. Have I been to the Southern Hemisphere? I have. I haven't done much of like animal hunting. I'm just gonna wait till it comes around where I'm at, so. For 33,000 bells from Lucky Dipping. What does that even mean? What is Lucky Dipping? What is Lucky Dip? Oh, okay. It's just like a thing where you go to someone's town and this they have items and you randomly pick them up or something. Like they're all buried. That's kind of cool. New town is a little sad. Though it is in the south. Oh yeah, you've been working on a second town, right? All wrapped presents, so you don't know what you get. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, by the way, here's my secret beach. Got the Triforce on it. Man, I do love Earth Egg. I prefer Earth Angel. Oh, here we go. This one uh, has a, what, I think, one in two chance of being money rock for the day. Yeah, there it is. And this is how Mabel's getting her payment for the day. Because I'm a sucker for good clothes in this game. Oh. That one up there. My Godzilla statue is overseeing the flea market. Man, I I did nev never want that Godzilla statue in my town. Everybody's like, I got the Godzilla statue. And I'm like, that thing is obnoxious. It's so it's so big and <laughs> dinosaur-y. Man, that thing breathes fire. It's sick. <laughs> I mean, you have a fair point. I'm not even hit the last rock today. I have so much iron and stone. Or maybe I'll just sell off my proceeds from today. It probably won't give me nothing, but I really don't need much stone or iron today. It's worth I, I could possibly get a gold, so it's worth doing. Nook charged me for a second room, but did not deliver. Really? Maybe just need another day. Does main pro designs cost anything for clothing? Like, you can just make make them and put them on your your body. Selling iron is pretty profitable, to be honest. Is it? Well, I will I will give Nook my my cash money, and we will see. By the way, you see this whole like um. This plateau that I'm on right here. This whole thing's being leveled. I hate this thing. It's like blocks off a huge portion of like my usable island. I hate this part of the, the island. I'd rather have my elevated area all at the top. It's all gonna be flying. I wanna keep a lot of character in my town, but like this like area just kinda like sucks. So that might be something we'll do today. Green is online. How's my inventory looking? I got space. I could probably collect my coconuts. I like to sell those to, to Mr. Nook as well. I'm sorry, the Nook brothers. I've only got two of the... I got three of the fossils. I'm missing one. Ah, here's my flamingos, by the way. Mr. and Mrs. Like the potato heads. Still haven't had Flick in my town. It's been very sad. I really want Flick to visit my town. I have, like, so many spiders I could sell them, man. But he, he just doesn't want to show up.
I really should just harvest my fruit and sell those at some point. Like they regrow. And also, by the way, these spiders are blocking up where, where there's gonna be a path. That is not the final fossil. Man, are they still singing over there? They're going. You guys have been going forever. How's choir practice, Apollo? I'm tired from watching how busy you are, Pa. Every day I take a stroll around here, so I know it's sound better than most. Okay. That better be the final fossil. It is! Alright, cool. We are we are set to go. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll do one more round of the beach just to make sure I pick up any coconuts. By the way, that elephant, I don't like him very much. He's okay, but I like Bubbles a lot. Staying trendy, hipster? What's the latest? Hmm, what should I do tonight? I don't know. Good question. Yeah, I don't mind her. Midge, I could care less about. Midge is not one of my favorites. What's she doing? She looks like she's singing to herself. How you doing, Midge? I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime. Oh, she's working out. She's nice. Hey, yo. What's up, Ryan? So, yeah, what's been going on in real life, not Animal Crossing life? Today, today um, what did I do? I woke up very late. I woke up at 1.30 p.m., and then I was like, man, I could go for 20 minutes more sleep. It's Sunday. I have a little bit more time. I can schedule out. And I was up late to get turnip. So, you know what? I, I, will, I will take another 20 minutes. And so naturally I woke up at 3 p.m. an hour and a half later, um, which was fine. Again, I didn't have anything like pressing to do today. Then I made a stir fry for breakfast, lunch, and took a nice shower. Got all, all prettied up here for stream. And then it's 5.30. So, hey, there we are. Hey. What did you put in your stir fry? I use a bag stir fry because I'm lazy as heck. So basically, I just take the the default stuff with. But it's it, it's like a a thick noodle with a teriyaki sauce and um, lots of veggies and chicken. All right, let's uh, let's go sell to the to the to the fella. Hey, what's up, Smoople? Made stir fry. I kind of made stir fry with shrimp. How do you kind of make stir fry? That baby doll's cursed, and I. No, 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 no. I don't. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Ah, blue apron. Blue apron is powerful. Oh, I, I should have gone to the museum first. Ugh. You know what? I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go talk to Blathers first. I gotta go wake him up. Actually, it's past 5 p.m. I don't know when he wakes up. It might be 6. Let me back up my microphone. I'm probably a little loud. Claude's just trying to clean up. And they're just singing. How are you, Sheldon? Yeah. I love them. I love them. I oh, want that kitchen shelf thing. Yeah, no, I, I already have one of those. They're they're pretty cool looking. Oh, he's still sleeping. Right, right for the. Take a look at these, my friend. The finest specimens this island has to offer. Oh, 
Oh wow, all all all, all of the oldies. <laughs> Make a donation. Yeah, I used to have a radio out, and then I took the radio out, and then they all start going to for, for it, man. There you go. Enjoy this peacock butterfly. Give me some info. He hates it. Please tell me. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. Pretty as a peacock. Bye, I say. The wings of a peacock butterfly may have a pattern similar to that of a beautiful bird, but its four wings are also covered in dark, velvety air. You heard right. Hairy wings. A hair, hair raising revelation indeed. Any hoot. I like he says any hoot. Alright, goodbye, blathers. I love you. He's my favorite. Oh. Oh. I just need to know down all the fossils I already have. Yeah, I know. I wish the critter PDA did have fossils. You're absolutely right. It seems kind of silly. I'm breaking up the band. Me, Yoko. I'm Yoko. Now, 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 now I am Tenor. Sheldon doesn't even, I'm sorry, Sheldon. I'm gonna apologize. I'd like to apologize to you, Sheldon. You, you may have this carp as recompense. And look, cash money. You can't beat it. Me and Sheldon have made a good deal. Here, Sheldon, re rejoin the band. I feel bad. Okay. Everything is right in our town. I broke up the band, but I got him back together again. I haven't seen Renee today. Renee's been hiding. We'll have to go find her. Hello. I would like to sell. I'm gonna sell it all, man. You can take this and this and this and sure. I got I got stuff. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. Take it, take it. Yep, yeah, yes, yes. Sure, yeah, absolutely. One hundred percent take it. Yep. Yep, that's mine. What do you got for me? Give me fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. What a deal. What a fantastic deal. Mabel. You got a big storm coming. <laughs> And some Nook Miles, just to polish it off there. Very nice. Oh, don't I have like a thousand bells just like, yeah, hanging out here? Let's take a look. Um, a lucky bunny. Egg recipe. What are you talking about? I already have that. Maybe it wants Bunny Day Wardrobe. There it is. All right, what, what's Canberra got for me? Apple hat. Four. All right. Let me have to check Nook Shopping real quick. Nook Shopping, then Mabel. Because that Mabel's gonna get the, the chunk of my money. He loves to take my money. Look at, look at, look at her sniff. He sniff. Let's see. What do we got in Nook Shopping today? KK Lullaby. Everything else looks to be... I think I don't think I had the six ball tea. Yep. So yeah, take a look at my bank account. Empty. Completely empty. You really hate to see it. <laughs> the ravioli men's choir. Can you believe it? Yeah, Claude just sweeping is my favorite. 
He's a backup. And Bubbles is enjoying the music over here. He hasn't joined the choir until season two. Season two is the best one, you know? I watched the anime Killer Man last night. It was pretty good. Almost as good as uh, Dra Dragon Ball Ron. Is that a toga? We might have to buy a toga today. Oh, Sable, how are you? I am. What just happened? I love Sable! I love you! I love her. <laughs> Sable is my favorite. Makes me happy. Hmm. Look at this! Comedian's outfit! Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> cowboy shirt! And the tank. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I already have these dress pants, so we're good there. I already have punk pants. These, This kind of works, doesn't it? Cycling cap. All right. Wait. Tiara hair? Oh, my. The queen stays queen, as they say. Octagonal glasses? Hmm. I'm good on socks. I have so many socks. Oh. Oh, here we go. Look at these heels. <laughs> and send it send it to my house, if you will. Mabel. Mabel, I'll be going right back in. Don't send the package yet. <laughs> I gotta go back in. <laughs> Let's see. I kind of like this. I got the blue one. I kind of want the purple one, too. What's the deal? I'm going to get the purple one. I don't think I need anything else here. The, the toga looks... Oh, man. I could get naked. Everybody wants that, right? Not Not you, but I mean, like... Never mind. I don't really want the octagonal. I'm not a huge fan of the octagonal glasses. So I think I can save some of last dance with Mary Jane. Um, I already have the purple work boots, I think. I think I'm just going to... I think I just want to buy some tops. So that's what we're going to do. Some salt Doc Martens. Yeah, I know. I know what clothes are. Hold on. I need a big sip. <sighs> that was more like a healthy gulp. There we go. Got my cowboy shirt. There we go. I, I want to get the toga. Which is just for sale. Um, was there anything else I wanted? The hand knit tank I'm not a huge fan of. I don't think that's my style very much. I like tanks, but I don't think I'd want to wear a knit tank. I kind of wanted one of these, didn't I? The cycling cap I actually don't like because it goes up. Which I know that's what cycling caps do, but is the back open of what? Of the knit tank? No. We're sticking my butt out there, aren't they? Yeah, I think all I'm going to want to get left is the toga. Mm. 
Thank you, Mabel. As always. He stole a good almost 50% of my bell. He stole 50% of my net worth. I gotta find Renee. Where's she at? This is her house right here, right? Renee, is this you? I gotta go be like, what the heck's going on, Renee? She's usually first one to talk to me in the morning. What are you doing? Why don't you tell me you were going to do road work yesterday? I want you to take them seriously. Motorcycle racetrack. Renee is sick. All right, everybody. I'm going to go grab some supplies. And then we're absolutely going to destroy part of my town. It's going to be bazonkers. I hope you're ready for it. Excuse me, uh, Nook fella. I'm here for your finest shovel. All right, we gotta do a little bit of crafting. I should grab some cherries as well because we're gonna need to uproot some stuff. Cherries. I also, I just gotta get rid of this thing. This one is blocking my road. Eventually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move my house backwards to where I, I believe this is Sheldon's house Yeah, I'm gonna actually put it more close to like this area here like right in front of where Sheldon's house is And I'm gonna have all this area in my front yard and I'm gonna move uh, Renee and Mid jet over the other side of the river I'm gonna have all my villagers like go along this riverbank like this. I really like the way it looks. What's the most fun thing to do in Animal Crossing? That's a great question. I don't know about it being fun. I just, I like to relax. Animal Crossing lets me relax. Oh ho! Fedrin! What's up, Fedrin? Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? What were you up to today? Friends of Fedrin, feel free to give me the info in the chat. In case Fedrin is a little bit busy. I got some cherries in here already. How y'all doing? Sleepy. Yo, you were playing Animal Crossing as well. Man, this game is bonkers. And by bonkers, I mean bonkers good, obviously. Um. We're about to go demolish part of my town. It's going to be grand, grand. It's going to be fantastic. Anything else? I don't think so. Put this back. Actually, I'll, I'll pump this into the radio. I really like KK Disco. It's terrible on my RSI, but other than that, it's a good time. Yeah, no, it, it, it's 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 a worthwhile time almost all the time. But yeah, everybody, welcome. If you don't know me, I'm MC. I play video games. I like Nintendo games a lot. It's what I'm good at. I don't like to be challenged by my video games. I like to smile. So that's what I'm doing today. We're, we're playing some Animal Crossing, smiling, having a good time. I'm going to be playing some Mario 64 randomizer uh, afterwards here. Probably around... Oh, I probably got a little bit over an hour, or a little bit less than an hour of Animal Crossing left to do. I'll probably finish my, uh, my project that I'm working on first. I don't know how many cherries I'm going to need, so we'll, 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 we'll take the lot. As it is. Hey, come visit my island. I, I cannot at the moment, Dark. I don't want to... I've, I've determined I pretty much usually don't want to do multiplayer on streams unless we plan it beforehand. No offense to you. It's not you. It's me. Because it takes so long. I get distracted. I'd rather focus my time on these projects. Time to destroy Zora River, though. And you might be wondering, why do I call it Zora River? If you look at my town map... 
Um, I chose this map because it reminded me of Hyrule from Breath of the Wild. Specifically, this river reminds me of, uh, it goes up to like where Zora's domain is, is what it reminds me of. Oh, you can start to see the paths around my town as well. If you look at my paths a little bit, you can kind of see what I'm going for. Um, I want to uh, use my mouse on the screen and so you guys can see what I want to do. But unfortunately, I do not have that privilege. Um, actually, here, you know what I can do? Watch this. I'm a professional. I will add an image to the stream. And that image will be my pointer. Do I have anything that I could use to point with? Yes. Okay, so look where the carrot's pointing. Yeah, I saw that link, and it was really cool. So I'm gonna bring my path here over all the way to here and then bring it up here. My house is gonna be like right here center, like in line with this uh, uh, peninsula, peninsula. I'm going to tear back the um, the mountain here, like just a little bit. I'm just going to smooth this out so it's less of a like a jutting out pattern. Uh, and I'm going to keep most of what this is. I'm actually going to take out this part of the most high raised land and extend extend the high raised land over more. So it's going to take up most of the top area of the map. And that's this area is going to be where I put my flower farm. Uh, and then this por por portion of high raised area is going to be flattened. Um, this whole thing is what we're going to be working on right now. We're getting rid of it. it like all this here, there's going to be no more river here. The only river extension is going to go up to this uh, area. Uh, I'll, I'll do pawns, but, uh, and these three villagers, they will eventually join their brethren uh, here, here, and here respectfully. So uh, we're going to have more paths that go here. Uh, I'm going to probably put in another bridge on this side of the river here. Maybe another one up here. And then maybe a final one up here eventually, but um, that eastern cliffs definitely seems more in the way. Now look at the mini map. Yeah, like, like this here, this whole area is like it's just in the way of like my beach, and so I just don't like it. So I'm gonna have all my raised area at the top, and we'll go from there. All right, goodbye, carrot. <clears throat> the carrot, the carrot's a good idea, right? I like was just looking on my desktop, and I was like, this will this will work actually pretty fine, won't it? I'm gonna dig up all my flowers. I'd like to keep my flowers. Especially because I have an orange one over here. And I can always replant these either below or bring them up to my top area where again, I, I do want to put like a formal flower garden. Oopsies. Okay. You know, that can just die. Now perish. Yeah, the, the sad thing is we have to get rid of this entire river, but that's okay overall for us. Do I have whatever bug that is? is that, what is that? I can't see it. Looks like a normal stink bug, doesn't it? I'm still missing four types of flowers in the garden. I got to get some different colors. Um, luckily, some of my friends gave me some unique varieties, but... Uh, I need a few more colors of those alternate varieties. You want to keep some of those Highlands Rivers area to catch those fish? Absolutely. Don't don't you worry. Uh, I got that all worked out, Aaron. I was I was showing on the map that entire um. Actually, let's look at my mini map for the sake of it. See that entire top section. I'm just gonna actually extend how much highlands there is up there. So it'll actually be more river highland. Yeah, no problem. What's my inventory looking like? Probably pretty full, right? 
Yeah, uh, I don't know if I can get all the flowers this go. Let's get that orange one first. Last one looks like. Whatever. I really wish flowers and trees stacked. Yeah, but at the same time, I understand why at least trees don't. They're supposed to be cute, right? Yeah, this entire area, I'm going to put like my flower garden and also all that. So let's just... Am, am I able to plant these without... You'll love to see it. The big thing is I just don't want to have a, a deficit of flowers at the moment. Order my Switch Lite arrives Wednesday. I'm so excited to play. Nice, Lost Hylian. Are you going to be getting just Animal Crossing or you got other games? Your name is Lost Hylian, so I assume you want to play like things like Cadence of Hyrule or... Uh, I don't know if you played Breath of the Wild on Wii U, so... If you haven't played Higher Warriors... Uh, at all yet, I, I recommend the Definitive Edition on to, on the Switch. It is very good. Can I just like drop these? Hang on. Gains of Hyrule is a very good game, but it, it's also was very much not my, my genre of game in a very similar way that Hyrule Warriors wasn't one of my favorites, but I didn't mind Hyrule Warriors as bad as, as Cadence. Cadence I really enjoyed, but it's also a game that didn't capture me enough to like make me want to play over and over and over and over and over like some people can't play Crypt, you know? Ah. Delicioso. All right, eat up. Think you're a certified gamer? Absolutely, I am. I had a nice discussion with Arctic about video games last night and how I, I at least in my brain, I'm always just like, ah. Complicated games, modern games, ah. Uh. Now, I, I, I want to stream them more, but at the same time, I also have this like weird thing about I don't like to sit there on stream being confused about stuff. And in some cases, I think it's fine, but I don't know. I do like just playing games that are really nice and enjoyable and simple. Like this. And Zelda and Mario. Platformers in general. Playing Celeste was was one of my favorite stream games in recent memory. I know it wasn't everybody's favorite, but at least for me, it was one of my favorite to play. Even if my hands were breaking during it. All right, we're about to be set to start going going crazy here. Gains of Hyrule and Crypt are different, uh, very different yet similar at the same time. Yeah. Oh, do I do I need to eat more? No, I I want to eat. I oh, mean, one, two. Looks like only three more. So perfect. Perfect number of cherries. Hmm. 
I wish eat item was above drop, not gonna lie. Uh, Nazi, you say that, but then you would also mean that the eat button would be above drop for turnips as well. Are you ready to ha experience that, t that, that form of loss in your life? Because I'm not. Are, are you ready to eat 500,000 bells accidentally? <laughs> Arctic walked by when I said that and had a giggle. <laughs> Oh God, yeah, leave it the way it is. And I'll, I'll take the extra input to actually eat over uh, missing an input to lose. Man, look at this nice, smooth world we have. Smooth. Oh, I came up with an idea that I want to do. This, this, is a, this is a copyrighted idea, by the way. MC sometimes gives out free ideas, not today. This is a, this is my idea. You guys can't have it. Um. I, I, I want to make a, a photo every day where I take a song, you know, like any song, like a popular song. Like maybe I just take them from my, 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 uh, my, my, my Spotify list or whatever. Um, and then ma make an album cover every day. But like, it just is like a selfie that's styled. And I, I could just imagine you go, the one I came up with that I thought was really funny was called Smooth Criminal, you know? So Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. But it's just like me in a ski mask with like with a, with a, with a, with a disposable razor, like going, and and, and that's it. And so, so so you can kind of see me in my box. So imagine this is the album cover going, I guess, with, with, a, with a ski mask on, and then these put the words, you know, Smooth Cover, or Smooth Criminal, and boom. That, and, and then I tweet one of those every day. And that's my entire joke. That's my idea. You guys can't have that one. That one's an original. MC gives away lots of free ideas. This one's his. Nobody laughed, so maybe I'm gonna give that one away now. I had other good ideas, but I don't wanna share them all in case I actually do it. All right, how do I do this? Cliff construction permit. I like it, thank you. All right. Time to fill in this river. Lucky for you, I don't like post selfies. I did get to see a picture of you, Ryan, when you were at uh, the Mario Martin. Made me happy. I was like, that's Ryan. I can tell it's Ryan because he looked like how you draw you. Oh. Crossing is a very kind and easy game, and I like it. Like this is this is enjoyable, right? I'm just a man in my my business suit here, taking care of business. It's fun. What's up, Madeline? Is that a is that a real present? Is absolutely not a real present. It's a mockery of present. So I've been getting ready for Runaway Guys Coliseum direct. Uh, we're doing a event in the place of our normal live event here on April 17th. So I got about two weeks left for it. So I've been starting to get ready for all the broadcast stuff. I have a meeting on Tuesday. To, oh, hold on, new present. Real present. So uh, it's going to be really fun. I think that uh, it's really sad I don't get to hang out with the TRG folks uh, in person, but we're still going to have a fun time, I think. 
What do we got? Bro, I hate that wrestling figurine. I've been really trying to get rid of it. Then a new one comes in. I'll go give it to Sheldon. Sheldon would love that guy. Why does my character never fill in the spots that I want him to? The answer is because that would be too easy. Yeah, Dark Ezra, you like my outfit? This is my uh, construction work outfit. Well, you might be talking about me in real life. Yeah, I got my, my jacket on today. <laughs> I, we're, we're matches today. I was actually gonna wear the, the full suit. I decided against it. Look at this. Say goodbye to your waterfall. You can make the island bigger? You can't make the island bigger, but you can adjust what you have. How are you today, Dark Ezlo? Also, hi to Dark Fia as well. We're gonna be doing some uh, Mario 64 randomizer here in a little bit. I just wanted to work on this part of my town because I've been putting it off. Now that I have terraforming, I was like, I better use my terraforming, but then I got lazy. All right, so here we go. One solid mass of land. And now we need to make it not that way. I think if I do this here, it's going to elevate me, right? Yeah, I don't want to elevate. I want to, I want to bring this town down. I think I have to get down then. Doing good, just got in from the garage, been working on arcade cabinet. What, what cabinet? Oh! You know, I'm gonna bring something up here while Dark Ezlo types about the, the cabinet they're working on. Uh, last night, I uh, had this really weird memory. Oh God, I had Minecraft kills just a, a moment ago. Good. Um, crisis zone, time crisis. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I had a memory of when I was a small boy. When I was a small boy. I remembered, uh, I used to, like, sometimes, you know, go with my family when they would, like, go to, like, a, a restaurant, sometimes, like, a restaurant bar type thing. And on the bar, they would sometimes have, you know, a touchscreen game, right? Like, uh, man, is there an easier way to, I think it's just chop from the side like this. Um... They would have like these touchscreen games that have like a bunch of stuff on there. Like, yeah, yeah, they're normal solitaire, but there was like a, a photo hunt game and stuff. So I looked it all up last night. Uh, thank you, we'll call, we'll call it, by the way. Um, and it's apparently by a company called Mega Touch. And apparently these things are everywhere now and cheap. And I really want one. I really want one. It's a really stupid thing to want, but I, I, I do want it. Okay, it looks like it might be in my best interest to like carve in like this. Let's see, does this does this make it easier? Yeah, it does. Thank you, Wolkava and Aeroxo, by the way. For your resubs. Appreciate you. You guys missed the hype train. You guys should have been here earlier. We had, a, we had like a frame one hype train when I started the stream today. Nobody was ready for it. Here, I hear another balloon. Well. But I, I have no idea how, how a person's supposed to find like these old these old games. And it's actually like really dumb that like so so these old games that like the, the company doesn't exist anymore that made these touchscreen games. Whoa, Dark Eslo. 
Sarah Keslo. Thank you very much for more resubs. Hey, I see uh, uh, Slam Bob got one in there. Found that we're doing one side, then the other is a bit faster. This works for me. Um, thank you very much, Dark Eslo. See these 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 arcade games that are like for a bar, like they fit on a, on a bar, like like like, and you you play them on the bar. They should be easy to find. You think, right? They should be easy to find. They're really not. And that's the worst part. I, uh, the, the company, which is now defunct, doesn't like sell them, obviously. Uh, eBay is like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And it's really dumb because these companies could have like put their games up like on the app store or something. And like they would have worked great as iPad games because they were meant for like full screen displays, right? Crazy. I'm doing good, Aerox. Man, I didn't realize this was going to take so long, but that's fine. We have nothing but time right now. I still have another half hour or so before I got to play Mario. So we can just chill out and screw up. You uh, you talking about like those things you can play games on and like order and pay at the table? No, 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 no. They're bigger. Like the screens are like this big, like. The size of almost an iPad, basically. Um, and they had, like, pool on them. They had, like, match games. They had a find the difference between pictures games. Like, they weren't used for paying, although you did have to put in money or scan your credit card, I think, to play them. Are you making all your island one level? No. Just this. Uh, look at my mini-map. You see this area here on the right? I hate this area, how it's been sticking up. I've, I've absolutely hated it, so... I'm getting rid of that little part. Um, the entire top area of my island is still going to be elevated. And in fact, it's going to be the home of my future uh, flower garden. I've been wanting to try Mario 64 Rando. You should. Fun. I wonder if this thing's gonna try to curve. Cool. This is a very odd sort of thing that's gonna look like when I'm when I'm halfway done. When I'm halfway done with all the stripes, you know? What does the purple train badge mean that Ezlo have? Former hype train conductor. That's right. We had a new train today. We have a new current conductor. That makes sense. Ah! Let me in. <laughs> yeah, but pe Peoples and I believe Dark also has it. And uh, it's one other person had the, the train badge now. Almost through. And back again. Through the mountain and back again by J.R.R. Tolkien. So I listened to a little bit, and, and and this is going to be a hashtag potentially controversial discussion for some, but for me, it's not that bad, so I, I don't think we should have a hard time here. But I, as always, with anything that I might think that people might get their ruffles all in a ruffle tussle, uh, be kind to people and their opinions, um, which is what I was going to say is the Animal Crossing series... Hey, Shoop. Um, appreciate you, Shoop. want to see you, but can't go anywhere. So hopefully soon. Uh, the concept of, of time traveling, and, and I've talked about it on stream before, but I kind of wanted to clarify an opinion of mine 
Because I, I, I since, since Animal Crossing has come out, I thought more about people who time travel and uh, do different things like, uh, for example, using community like made things like Turnip Exchange by Warp World to like sell their um, sell their stuff faster, sell their turnips faster, rather than like you know contacting friends or waiting for their own price to be a, a high price, you know. And my my thoughts on are they cheating? Are they? Is that something that people should do and all that? Um, on, is this a real egg? It is. I, I want it. And before anybody starts going off on their opinions, which I, 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 I are, are valid, I'm sure, I wanted to add in my thought, um, where I have previously said that I don't really like it, I, that's why I don't do it, but um, I wanted to clarify an opinion of mine and that maybe you, some of you share as well, which is, I don't care what people do. Oh, Cherry Blossom Clock, nice. Um, I don't care what people do. People can play the game however they want. I don't mind that, and, and, I, and I don't have a problem with it. But what I don't like, and what, what, I've, what I believe I, I meant to make my point the first time I talked about this, was I don't like it when people time travel or do other things in the game that are a little bit meta-exploitative at times, and then complain about the game. Um in a way that like if they hadn't time traveled it doesn't have like saying Animal Crossing is uh like it, it, it has a shallow depth and but but the only thing they've done is time travel, you know? Like because you're then experiencing the game in a way that's different than others and I think different and, and, and your opinion might be valid, but I don't like to hear that type of complaint because people can play however they want. I don't mind time travelers. I have people, friends who are time do time travel in the game and whatever. I used to do it in uh, GameCube very early on, but uh, I don't know what Animal Crossing is. I think can be a little bit. Uh, your own your own rodeo almost you know people who time travel and complain that their turnip prices are worse for time travelers well i i mean like okay so imagine i time traveled every time i had to wait in the game and like you know at this point i already have like all the house upgrades i already have nook upgraded i have Pretty much every upgrade you can get. And at, and at the point, you know, I just have to put in the time doing stuff like this. Like, you can't time travel through this type of stuff. You just got to do it. Um, and then I made a review saying that the game is uh, shallow or something. Uh, th 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 then that makes me a little upset, you know? Because Animal Crossing is a type of game where you gain a lot of benefit from playing a little bit every day. Yeah, if you go out of your way to cheapen your experience of the game and then com then then complain about it, then that's your own fault. That that's that's kind of where I was heading, Link Over, and I th I think you're absolutely right. Where it's like you can do whatever you want, but if you're going to skip part of the game design, which is patience and waiting for things and delayed gratification, basically, you um I want to look at my map. You might not get the experience that the game designers wanted you to have. And so it's like, is it valid to complain about that? Are you strip mining in Animal Crossing? Well, I'm I, I'm flattening this area, and I just wanted to... <laughs> that's pretty funny looking. But now it's going to be all flat. I don't need time travel if I need to do something, but it, the place itself was locked for the day. You see, one thing that was really interesting to me is uh, one day I like forgot to like sell some stuff at nooks and yeah yeah the box now exists which is a great option for late night players um but like i knew that i didn't want to take the the money hit and i didn't want to like just like put a bunch of stuff on my beach and luckily one of my friends who lives in australia was just like yeah hey, come on over nook just opened you know 
kind of come on, hang out. Let's, let's play some games. And I had a fun time with that. That was nice. Got to go over there. I got to even, you know, buy some stuff from their Mabel. But obviously, that, that's a subjective thing of, does everyone have someone who they can play with in Australia? And it's really, you know, unique. Yeah, Infantino Duck, uh, bringing up the concept of I only time travel on day one so I can keep up the content for a 12 hour stream. And that, that, that's something that's interesting to me because I feel like, yeah, that's probably the right move if you if you said I have to do a 12 hour stream of Animal Crossing on day one. Yeah, day one ends up pretty, you know, without much stuff. So I get why you would do that. But at the same time, I am just thinking, I'm like, Maybe that means Animal Crossing is not the type of game to be streamed like that. Maybe Animal Crossing is not the type of game that should be streamed 12 hours a day. In the same way, I feel like uh, Triforce Heroes probably shouldn't be played in one stream. <laughs> but that that's my own, my own opinion. You know? That's why I, I really like doing Animal Crossing like an hour and a half, two hours on stream. Luckily, I have this project I need to get done, so, you know... If I didn't have this project, I'd probably be done for the day. I, you know, I did my chores, did some shopping. We could have gone to a Nook Miles Island, but you know, this is fine. Animal Crossing is a game that lends itself to a certain type of gameplay and style. And, you know, in the world of, you know, online games and stuff, a lot of people talk about like, is a game that I am purchasing, can I play it my way? You know, where we live in the world of, you know, games with tons of options, t tons of different platforms and control options and a lot of stuff that's really good for like, you know, so sometimes it's good for accessibility, uh, which obviously should be focused. But we've also gone to the point where there's sometimes games that are so open and explorative in terms of like settings and options and ways you can play that. It makes it kind of weird when a game like Animal Crossing comes around and says, the best way to play this game is to play a few hours a day. You know, you can do more if you'd like, but, you know, diminishing results kind of are a thing, you know, for how much time you sink in. Um, and so when a game like that comes around, I think it kind of throw, throws people for a loop. So that's why I think time traveling stuff is so popular. Because people want to go. People want to go. I spent 12 hours trying to catch a string fish. I caught a string fish pretty fast. Once once I learned how, how to like to use Nook Miles Islands efficiently. That was that was my, my favorite part. Man, what am I going to do with all this free land? Probably extend my orchard. Hey, what are you doing here, punk? Get out of here. Because I think back to games like, uh, let's just say for the sake of things, Super Mario Brothers 3, because that's the first game that literally popped into my head, where, you know, the options are one player mode or two player mode, you know? But even then, that game, like, you know, like there are still ways you can play the game how you like. And usually those are, are like, um, self-imposed rules with, with games like that. Because, like, you can say, like, uh, for this, there's a speedrun category that's all forts. There's the, the, the any percent category, which, like, you know, uses a credits warp. There's, you know, the, the, the no credits warp category or whatever. I forget what it's exactly called. That, you know, you just use warp whistles. And it's really interesting to me that there are, like, even as, as early as that, ways you can, like, make a game your own. Like, you can do Mario Bros. 3 and, like, you know... Vow to never use the Tanuki tail, you know? Like, you can make that your own self-imposed game mode. So we've always had a lot of liberty in how we play games. But when a game like Animal Crossing comes along where the game says, all right, you want the new shop? Come back tomorrow. Of course, as gamers, we're, we're like, I... The way I want to play my game is I want like I would like to continue playing this game now, so I will set my clock in the future. Makes sense to me. But 
there's a little thought of this game was designed also for the fact that, you know, it's like come back tomorrow is a way of saying to you, all right, you've, you've sunk some time into this game. Congratulations. Go, go live your, your real life as well, you know? Or play a different game. Because I'm about to finish up here on this project, and then, you know, I think I want to play some Mario Randomizer. Luckily, I, I, I've already gotten all the Bunny Day recipes made, so I am good for Bunny Day. But anyway, I don't know if those thoughts at all resonated with anybody, but they are mine. I'm not, I, I'm not, I've not minded the bunny day stuff too much. I know some people have been like, another water egg? Too many eggs. But yeah, but at the same time, I don't know. I haven't been too bothered. I did all of my grinding for fish at the end of March, you know? And so I don't have to grind for more fish until the end of April when the April fish go away and the April bugs go away. So I don't mind spending the first part of April doing this, you know? Like, like catching eggs. Sometimes I think people demanding a new Animal Crossing game has come out until this one did. And when it did come out, I understand why Nintendo doesn't release as many Animal Crossing games as frequently as they did as, say, Zelda Mario. I mean, this also, Animal Crossing is the type of game that you're supposed to enjoy over, you know, multiple years. People make a big deal out of Grandma playing 35, 4,500 hours of uh, Animal Crossing. But, you know, that's just kind of like playing Animal Crossing normally. Take a look at this. We we now have the flat area. We now have the big wide open plains. We have our Hyrule field. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Whee. That is a lot of space. Yeah, now that we have all the space, I'm probably gonna extend my orchard a little bit. I think that might be nice. And then after I extend my orchard, I'm gonna I want to keep some of it open. I kind of want to include some paths. So I might not extend my orchard till a little bit later after I've done some more work. I don't know. I don't know what to do with all these cedar trees right now. Here, I'll, I'll kind of put them up here. So they're a little bit spread out. Oh, yeah. The, the, so the, the the idea of are there things we can patch into Animal Crossing to make the game more enjoyable and faster and quality life fixes. We, we could go on forever about quality life fixes to make this game even more enjoyable. Um, of course, you know, longtime Animal Crossing fans will tell you instantly that this game itself is one giant quality of life patch to Animal Crossing in that like even as you know like like new leaf has you know had such a there's so much in this game that is better than the past of animal crossing it's not the best we're like, like you know there, there's, there's there's still more to go obviously we we're, we haven't made it in the world of animal crossing uh quality of life but we sure are better than where we have been in the past you know All the customization options are a little bit overwhelming. There's so much to customize. Yeah, it's really nice. I haven't uh, actually gone too far into it. So um, as I continue to decorate my island, I'm going to have more fun with it. And, and and I guess that's one that I'd like to talk about that's a little bit related, where people have talked about, um, and I've seen people's towns be amazing, absolutely insanely good so far. Um and I see some people like talking about their end game island already. And I'm like, you realize you like Animal Crossing at least less than a month ago, right? 
You're talking about your end game island that you desire, but we haven't even seen every holiday event yet. We haven't seen every item. We haven't seen all the new patches that are going to come out. You know, you want more quality of life fixes. Who knows what's going to come with the quality of life fix? You know, maybe they'll give you the option to terraform your beach a little bit or something. Like, maybe they'll give you the option of uh, building more neighbors, you know? Oh, hey, you don't mind if I do green. No. So, I, I think that people going crazy about what they want their final island to look like right now is kind of insane. I wonder what they're talking about. Yo, Bubbles, what's your workout routine like? Um, yeah, I don't really have a workout routine, hipster. Seriously? You don't do anything? Then how do you look so buff? Hey, don't call me buff. Call me trending. It's way different and today cooler, hipster. Uh, I don't... I don't know what that means. Okay, um, yeah, you're looking real trending, Bubbles. How do you do it, Cartier? Oh, but also I reserve the right to change my mind. I can be trending today, but buff tomorrow. <laughs> so you're cool with being called buff, but only sometimes? Oh, hang on. I think I get it now. How's this? Hey, Bubbles, how do you get so awesomely trending? Biceps, Cartier. <laughs> Nobody calls biceps straight trend. Bubbles, I have a gift for you. Or, or you, you. I have a gift. Wait, I can't give him a gift. I need. I have a gift for him. Okay, you don't get it. Apollo, are you around? Where's Apollo? Oh, not a great conversation. Hey, MC. Perfect timing. Midge and I were just talking. She's looking for some new food ideas. That's right, MC. Can you help me out? I'm stuck in a food rut. I keep cooking the same old things again and again, so I'm asking around for ideas. I asked Axley, but I want more opinions, and his ideas are a bit dull. So how about you? What do you think I should make? Cake. A cake protein shake? Okay, but that sounds kind of rich. Oh, I haven't baked a cake in forever. I could make a vanilla cake topped with whipped cream and maybe some fruit. Cake it is. This will be delicious. Thanks, MC. So if you didn't want to make a protein shake, why am I here? Can I give you a gift? I can't give him a gift either. I want to give someone a gift. Apollo. Thank God. Please enjoy this wrestling figurine. I bet he's going to love it. No way. You're giving me a throwback wrestling figure? I owe you one. Been looking for something like this for a while. Next time I spiff up my place, this will come in handy. Let me thank you. A career jacket. A what? What does a career jacket look like? You water my plants. Whoa! That's sick, dude. Thank you, Apollo. Apollo, what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> what is this ritual? What is this ritual they're doing? My uh, slingshot died and my present just disappeared, so. What a, what a movement. Can I customize this? Like, can you customize like clothing like that? Boa Parka. Oh, that's sick. So I think I need, what, uh, softwood? Is it called softwood? I don't even know what it's called. Yes.
Is Dark around? Hey, Dark Decay, are you are you in this web zone? Oh, it's hardwood. I don't think Dark Decay is in this web zone right now. Awesome. All done for now. Let me go plant these flowers. That's exactly what I was about to talk to Dark about Link Oleron. Uh, Dark has the golden slingshot recipe. I was going to send uh, Dark a gold to do so. He's around. Yeah, what I'm going to do, um, there's going to be a ramp right here. And it's going to lead up to this area. And then this is going to extend over. Like I'm going to cut off like probably this part here. Like this little portion. I'm going to extend it to the right a lot more. Like, like probably like here. And then around it's going to be all flowers. Probably shouldn't plant these around trees. Actually, it doesn't matter with these trees. They're not going to sprout stuff. Hold on, is there, a, is there a cherry nearby I can eat? I'm about to do this tree over once and for all. Hi. I thought you were smacking every last rock on the line with your shovel yesterday. There's some less noisy way to chip yourself off of them bits of rock for your DIY projects. Unfortunately not. I wish there was, but there is not. Yeah, these two trees, they are a menace to society, so they we, we must deal with it. There we go. Look at that. Now it's much more clear here. I actually probably want to destroy this rock and have it regrow somewhere else. Maybe a less annoying place. Let's go for it. You watch a couple episodes of a uh, hydraulic press channel? I'm glad. There we go. Now this whole area is much nicer. Once this neighbor's out of here, it's going to be real nice. I don't know how much it is to move a resident. I don't I don't think it's fifty thousand. I know it's fifty thousand to do a lot of stuff, but let me take a look. Hello. It is fifty K. I wanted to move an island home. Look, if I wanted to move Renee. 50,000. Man, I need Flick to come through, man. I need Flick to come through, and then I need to sell my bells off at like 500, 500 each this week. I need to focus in on that. And then I can sell off my, my storage down here. And this should give me like a million and a half bells. 1.5 mil. And I'm going to probably save them all.
as you can see, my my uh, my flower garden's looking nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you you um, it doesn't matter, Link Oleran. The flick's on your island. The flick is on your uh, on someone else's island. It, I can't. I, I couldn't go sell on your island. I have to wait till he's around on mine. I really like CJ. All right, well, I'm going to say that's enough Animal Crossing for now. Anything you want to say to me, Midge? Oh, she does. What's up, Midge? There's a reaction I want to teach you, but it comes with a story. It began on a cold, foggy evening. Dread squeezed my heart after I heard this weird flapping sound. Suddenly, I felt something damp licking at the back of my neck. I jumped and spun around to see half-dried laundry. Oh, right. I need to put my laundry in the dryer. Thank you so much, Midge. Beerful. Cool. Hey. Apprentice dancer. Well, oh, I had an idea for my, my title, by the way. Let's... You like my new photo, by the way? I think it's cute. Instead of Rare Boy, I wanted to be... Where is it? I forget what the name of it was. Kindly Boy? Hmm. Homie... Homie... Homie Boy! <laughs> homie Boy. Fickle Boy. Efficient Boy. Ooh. Bait snatching boy. <laughs> they called me in high school. At capacity boy. I want an emergency boy. That, that'd be a good name. Homeboy. Homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> Over stuff, boy. Ooh, refined. I like rowdy boy. That's a good one. I was total boy before. Self-possessed boy. Yeah, I'm going to keep rare boy. <laughs> I like it. All right. On that note, I need like uh, five minutes, probably less, probably like three. They use the restroom, grab a drink, and then start up.